good today. Uh, we will start for this. So, uh, good so good morning, everyone. <laughs> okay. So today we will cover the four topic for the multi UM item, and then the build of material BOM assignment, and then the stop maintenance. Uh, that's stop maintenance. Actually, we got a more uh, a button is more. There we 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 will cover some of the function for more data, and then the stock alert levels and reorder. <clears throat> okay, so actually, uh, what is the multi UM item? Uh? cause uh, for the multi UM item is uh, some of the item, uh, you got a. I, the item actually you can sell the multiple types. Uh. actually same item, but like this. Coke, you can sell it by can, pack, and carton. So actually, this three of this item actually is same item, but uh, we we can sell it by different packaging. Okay, so uh, so multi OM this feature actually able for user sell and purchase product in any UM that user business need now. So it also defines the default UM for various type of the transaction. So sales and the purchase documents support the item with the multi UM definitions too. Okay, so uh, actually how we set up the multi UM stock. First, we have to create the item for the base item. For example, for this one, Coca-Cola. Uh, we have to set the code, the base item, the small I the small packing item uh, means the base item. So uh, we have to create at the stock maintenance day. After we create the base item, then actually more we we go for the stock maintenance screen more there. We have a function called create multi UM stock. So we can use this function to create the pack and carton. So that's why uh, just now we set the item with space, then we can multiple times the stock. Okay, so when we create the multiple UM stock, we have to set the, sorry, we have, we have to set the item actually same as the usually what we set but when after you create the this one create multi om stock you will see the stock id and definition will be same but the barcode you have to set different so that's one that's why uh, we have we can uh, system can define this is another type based on the same item that's mean uh, stock id is the parent code Barcode is the child code. So when, when we set the multi uh, multi UM item, the UM you have to set uh, for the pack. Well, cause just now we set the can, uh, then we have to let the system know this item you set is uh, pack item. And then based on the pack item, uh, this item, the rate for the base is how many? That means just now we set this one code. Actually, this one is four times. That means it's the four can. So we have to set this one pack is the rate for four and then the base UM can. Others information system will, for, will, cal will, will cover all, but the price one there, actually system will calculate for you. They will actually, if let's say this item is uh the can item is 1.99 1 ringgit 99 cent so if you put four um rate here actually system you calculate uh around 1.99 pounds so actually uh seven ringgit 96 cent so but if if the price you want to sell is not the price time based on the base uh, base um so you can set the price you wish to sell. Okay, after that, we also can set the 
item for carton no? cause just now we set the pack so the carton also same you have to create the you have to click the more from the base item there to set the create multi um stock then you will come to this screen you have to set the barcode and then the um is carton cause now you set the stock for carton and then the rate is 24 and then the base is can so it's 24 can per carton that's why here the description here to 24 can per carton actually is uh you have to came by yourself la, for this for this side cause uh this one system you you know right for you but here for you to easier if let's say you sell on the this item on the post system there post system there will show at the receipt here cause some of the user they know set the barcode at the receipt there that's why here you put the description one then easier for the customer to see the item actually is a carton and then they know uh, this one carton is 24 can per carton also can easier for cashier to know as well la. okay after you create the multi um stock you can go back to the more here we got a function is a multi um information here you can see all the multi um info for what you set just now so you can see here the base item and then the two multiple item here multiple uh, um item here and then you can see the pricing all from here the rate all the information we will show on this screen so at just now you will see actually all the stock id will be same just the barcode will be different so when you set actually you can set the barcode follow your item if let's say the item no barcode actually you can define a barcode for the carton or pack if let's say the i for carton don't have the barcode or pack also don't have the, uh, the barcode okay so here <clears throat> we when you, we do the transaction, the supplier invoice usually uh, cost the user actually you purchase this one, the item by carton, they will not uh, purchase the item by can like that. Cost, uh, cost by carton will be more easier, um, will be more cheaper. So that's why here, uh, usually uh, when purchase, they will key in by carton. So when you key in by carton, actually it's no problem idea because you have set the item by multi UM. And then when you key in the sales invoice, you also can sell by carton, by pack as you want because the item is ready also. When at the post system there, you also can sell like different type of multi um cost the item also is ready so if let's say the item you got set you got set the barcode then the cashier will scan by barcode will be more easier and then here as just now why uh, what i say cost if let's say you don't have drag up the barcode column or stock id column then you cannot define this item is actually is a uh, can carton or pack that's why the description there you can put like this it will more easier for you to or easier for the cashier or the customer to know and then at the report there even the stock maintenance will, will show all the module and balance quantity but user have to take note the balance quantity since all the stock quantities are related that means if let's say you check the stock balance at the stock maintenance screen this one you have to must be to know this one actually is got related you just either can see one of the uh, balance 
don't confusing you got 79 or three points cotton like that so you have to take one if can maybe maybe you check this one is a 79 can for all of this uh. and then you check at the stock balance quantity listing we will show the multi um item as well but here we will show the base item uh. it will more is more easy to check And then the stop balance inquiry also show the multi UM item. Here you can see. So here also same as just now the stop maintenance screen show all the unit, but these three item actually uh, got related also. So you either check one balance for yourself. Next, next will be the bill of material POM assignment. What is this? Okay, this is the item, it's a features able for user to sell by combo or package. We've deducted the quantity stock item which is selling inside by combo or package. It will save time to adjustment after the combo or package stock item sold. That means usually we create a stock item like this one, hamper. If let's say you create a stock hamper, but hamper inside got a lot of item. So if let's say you just create item hamper, but how to detect inside the stock item balance. So we can use this one bill of material assignment to detect the stock. So first this item uh, for hamper, usually we always can see uh, some of the mean market or supermarket that they will sell this hamper when the, during the Chinese New Year. So they can use this type of uh, assignment to do. Okay, first, we also have to key in the individual stock item inside the, for the item you sell inside the hamper. So after that, at last, you have to key in the hamper, like just now I said the hamper. So you can see all the inside item actually got the, the balance, but the hamper we don't have the balance because the hamper actually is, is uh actually is a balance from the inside the individual item okay so we can set the item after we set the hamper here we click the more and then here you can see bill of material bom assignment and then you insert what you will uh, inside the hamper. So you insert the uh, item what you sell on inside the hamper. Even the basket, cause the hamper bottom, you put the basket. If let's say you want to calculate the basket at the stock to let you know you will use how many basket, you can uh, put as well. So you can, let system know uh, actually this hamper I will use one of the basket and then the uh, what item one unit or every item you got how many unit you want to use if let's say some of the item you use two unit when you set this one BOM you can let you uh, system to know like this one you have to key in two bottle then you can keep two bottle or two can also can okay so if user pack the hamper for five unit, then need to key in the stock assembly. Okay, for just now, uh, I forget to let you know, cause uh, at the BOM here, we got a uh, auto BOM. You actually uh, for hamper item, cause we need to calculate the balance stock for the, cause the hamper we're packing well, uh, packing nicely at the your shop there. So you have to know, if let's say you want to know uh, the hamper got how many already packed to your shop there, then you no need to click the auto BOM. For auto BOM, this one later, I will show at the assemble tool there for what the status we will use the auto BOM. Okay. So if let's say just now you set this one BOM, don't have take the auto BOM. So you have to go to the inventory module there, transaction, inside got the stock assembly. So on this screen, 
you just click the add here. If let's say you want to uh, pack five unique uh, hamper to at the system, to let system know you got five balance stock for the hamper. So you can do at the stock assembly here. So stock ID here can find the item for the hamper, which uh, already set the BOM. That means if let's say you create the new screen on this stock assembly, the stock ID only will show the item already set the BOM assignment. So here, if let's say for this one hamper, you want to pack five unit, then you can set the quantity is five. System will calculate how many stock you will deduct from the system. For here, you can see five means system will deduct all the every individual item uh, five unit. <clears throat> so you can see the quantity here. Actually, the cost, if let's say you got key, you got a uh, key in the cost at the stock maintenance there, or you got you use the cost like uh, with the average or first in first out system, you calculate the cost for you. Like, because this one, the, I do this sample, don't have key in any cost. That's why here to have show the cost. If you got key in the cost, we will show the total cost for the this hamper. Okay. After that, if you done the stock assembly, system will auto add the hamper stock quantity and detect the individual stock item of, uh, on the pack hamper. So you can go back to the stock maintenance there. You will see just now every item got 20 unit. So after we create the stock assembly for the hamper, you can see system will detect every five balance stock here and then you will increase five unit for the hamper here that means here system you you can know this one uh you got five unit at the system and your shop there then you 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 will not uh oversell because here you can see if let's say for five units that means your shop also got five hamper as well lah. So if let's say uh, you want to unpack the hamper, we can, you can come back to stock assembly here. If let's say you want to unpack one, and then you can click the disassembly here. You select this one, the assembly. System will um, um, assembly the disassembly the item here for, for the hamper. Then every item for here will increase one unit at the balance there, and then the hamper will deduct one quantity balance. So far here is the example for BOM assignment, didn't take the auto BOM and then have to do the stock assembly. Okay, example two is the, okay, example two is as what I just now uh, I told you, this one, uh, we got item A and item B. And then uh, we also got the combo A plus B. But this one combo S plus B, seller no purposely to pack as a combo. When buyer want to buy, then just direct take item A and item two together at the counter there. Then they got a special barcode for this one combo, combo set. Lah. Okay, so uh, for here, this setting, we will set also same as just now, create three item. Plus here, we've got three item, A, B, and combo A plus B. So here, we also create the combo and then individual item. Okay. And then here, we also same as just now, also set the BOM assignment. But for this one, we got take the auto BOM. Actually, you take here, system also will help you to take this one, the stock maintenance screen also got the auto BOM. Either you take here or take here also can. So system will, uh, will check the both together. 
And then why auto BOM? Since have mentioned this combo no property packed together, so have to take the checkbox off. That's why this combo I don't no need to keep stock. That's why here system no need to purposely to keep stock for this combo. They will got the individual item type 30, 30 here. And then if let's say uh, the customer take this combo, system also can scan this one, then sell this. After that, if let's say just now got take the auto BOM system here, will show the at the stock assembly that we auto generate the stock assembly here to detect uh, this stock, this combo uh, inside these two items. So here you can see this one cash sales number here, the cash sales number actually is same. So system will let you know uh, for, for this one auto BOM actually will detect these two item as well. And then at the end, the combo set also will show zero balance up cause even you got sold this one. So here also will show zero. And then system also will let you know these two item already got uh, deduct the stock ID. So you can check the stock card listing there. Actually the calculation, the, the stock moving is like that. So uh, for here, you can see the cash sales sell one combo set system. You add one here for the assembly there. So at, at the end also will be the zero balance stock. And then system will deduct the, this one, assembly deduct one. So that's why here will be 29. Deduct one will be 29. Okay, for here, uh, actually we got a, another sample la, but I no show at the slide here. Maybe I can show this. Cause uh, you can see you, you go to the hardware shop, actually some uh, the, the seller actually will sell this room. They will sell the head. Actually this item we will put different with the, this steel. So, because some of the user they maybe buy is the they want to buy this one combo together. That's why here you can see this one mock also will use the steel. That's why here at the at the hardware shop user actually you uh, they will put the steel is a one stock and then the broom head here will be one stock and then uh, the mock head also will be one stock. Then they can set the, if let's say they want to sell one set, this one, they, they will set uh, auto BOM item for this one set. So here, uh, so if let's say user, the cost, you, you sell the item like, uh, if let's say you want to sell the room one set, then they do the combination, then they can sell it uh, one set. So they no need to purposely to keep the stock one set. When the user want to sell it a uh, different type of, maybe want to sell, uh, sell it by mob, then they plug in at the steel together, then they can sell one set. So this is the another sample that can sell individual the, uh, the broom head or and the mob. So this is the another sample. Lah. Okay. And then we got the, some of the tips here. We got a stock assembly quick entry. So it, here you able to import by Excel, even assembly or disassembly. Okay. For here, you can list down what item you want to, but for just now, the stock maintenance here, the item, you also have to set the BOM assignment as well. Just when you key in, you no need to key in the assembly stock one by one. You can list out what item you want to pack, like the hamper you want to pack or disassembly or assembly. You can list out all the barcode here and then the type assembly. 
you want SMB, you put ASM. This SMB, you put DSM. Then the quantity, how many? Then you just insert here. Then you can use the import from Excel function to import to system. Then you no need to one by one to key in at the stock assembly there. Okay, so this is the now this is the build of material. Okay, so now we will go through the next topic. Actually, the stock maintenance there we got hidden some of the function apart. It's quite useful as well. So here we will. Now we'll cover this one. Okay, at the more function inside, actually we got this three, uh, this four item, actually user, maybe they don't know. Actually we got a function like the stop supplier who supplied the stock, multiple barcode assignment stock, compatible stock assignment and bug update. So now we will start for the supplier who supplied the stock. Supplier who supply the stock. Actually, uh, this one is the features to let user record the supplier SKU. And then supplier selling price also able to do remark as well. Then it also have a function to set the purchase priority in the purchase plan. Actually, this one uh, for the our purchase group there to use more. Lab. But if let's say you don't have purchase or purchase uh, module, the purchase group module, then maybe you can use to key in the supplier SKU. Cause sometimes you key in the stock ID by your own your own ID you want to define. And then or the barcode also send for item. But when you key in the invoice from supplier, actually they got their own SKU. So you can key in the supplier SKU on this screen you can see you can this uh sku is from which supplier if let's say you got use the purchase plan then you can set uh the purchase plan is the priority but today we don't have to cover this one purchase priority purchase plan uh. okay so and then you can set this supplier they always uh provide the price for you is uh, how much and then you can do some of the remarks here. But after you key in this one, actually supplier side also, you can go to supplier maintenance there. You can see also from more here, supply stock. You can see the item, what this supplier supply. That means you got key in all from the stock maintenance here. At the end here also will show the same uh, at the stock maintenance there. <clears throat> so here you can see this supplier got supply what stock you will list out to here, same as the this screen here as well. Okay, so how it works. After you set an item, just add the supplier who supply the stock here. That means just now you set, you already set the item. Then you can click more here to key in this item got which supplies supplier supply for you. And then you can key in different supplier SKU to here and then the price to here as well. After that, when you key in the purchase order, cost purchase order usually you want to send to your supplier. So if let's say the supplier you got key in the supply SKU when you print the purchase order for your supplier, they also will know oh, this item actually uh, from easy, also it will easier for the supplier to check or oh, this item what you order, easier for them to know. Lah. And then if let's say you select the supplier here, if the supplier A, they will show all the supplier SKU based on this supplier. So your staff also will easier to select the item based on the, this supplier supply. So when the invoice come, so also will easier for user, means for your staff or for you to easier to key in. Cause the in, supplier invoice always will show the supply SKU. If let's say you key in at your system, the stock ID, 
or barcode is not same with the supplier, the SKU, then when you key in the invoice after you key in the supplier here, ID here, so all the supplier SKU here will list out this supplier, uh, what they supply for you. And then you can easier to select. We also will not select the wrong one of course this one is set you set based on the supplier sku there so all you show is the supplier sku here okay so far here is a supplier who sub supplier who supply the stock <clears throat> okay next will be the multiple barcode assignment stock okay for here, multiple barcode assignment stock actually is the multi barcode feature able to for user to sell product in different barcode for the same item when user doing business operation. It also be could be different supplier or different batch item, but actually it's same item user able to use multi barcode to solve this, like this one. Coca Cola also. <laughs> when the uh, usually you got uh, sell this item uh, at the shop Coca Cola, the barcode is like this. But when Chinese New Year, they just uh, change the backing on it. But also same item, same pricing, but they change the packing already. But and then the barcode also different already. So if let's say you want to maintain this one as the same item, but when the cashier scan, this one is different to barcode. So you can use this one multiple barcode to insert this one, another new barcode to this, uh, this normal item, you, 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 you always will sell this one uh, yeah, like this. So you can come to like just now, this one item, you already set at the system there. Okay, so you can come to the multiple barcode assignment. That means this item actually is this item. You want to add this barcode from here. You just click more. You click the multiple barcode assignment here. Okay, you you can instant you just key in the uh this barcode to here. So when you sell this i this Coca Cola carton, both also same price, and then you can see post system here. Even you scan the first item or second item, also available. That means uh. That means this two also can scan up. You no need to purposely to create another uh, stock unless you want to differentiate the stock balance. So you only need to key in different stock code, different barcode. If you don't want to create another item, you want to maintain as the same item. So you can key in by this one multiple barcode assignment. So when you sell at the system here, also uh, easier. No need to purposely create another new item. System also can detect either one. So at the invoice here also, when you key in the invoice here, you also can see even uh, system here, you key in different barcode, but when you scan the stock id here system also will come up this uh these two items as well with the same balance stock okay so this is the okay so this is the multiple barcode stock assignment okay and then this is the compat the next one is the compatible stock assignment So this setting actually inside the stock maintenance as well. 
So you click more here, you can see the competitor stock assignment. Always you use it together with our smart inspector. When create any transaction, user can try check smart inspector that competitor stock assignment, which stock also under same grouping. For here, you can see it. You can set the compact. If let's say this item you already set as a usual, then you can come to more here to set this item the compatible stock with the same group, same category as well. That means the grouping from this item, what you set, you have to set at the same together. So when issue the customer invoice or any sales document, user can open the smart inspector screen as well when the original stock finished, then can throw this compatible stock assignment to check which stock also under group under same grouping can be replaced the original stock. La. That means if let's say you can see this item actually the balance is 23. Ma. So if let's say you want to supply to your customer is 24, but here you can see out of the balance already. So you can throw this one smart inspector. Actually smart inspector, you can come to tools here. Uh, you can do this one smart inspector or you can click the control shift R shortcut key. So we prune up, then you can check the compatible stock which you can you want to replace if let's say you want to if if let's say the customer say oh can I you just repair one either one for them then you can try this up. So this is the compatible stock assignment. And then the next will be the bug update. Bug update actually is a good function now. Uh, actually it's allowed user immediately to update the data based on the filter or selected. So this function actually also at the more here, you can click the bug update. So here you can do the filtering or you can select, you can select. Actually the select here, you can, if let's say after you do the filter, all this item you want to uh, update, so you can highlight all with the keyboard. You can click the control A like the Excel function. You can click control A, then you highlight all, or you can use highlight this grouping. You can click uh, shift to highlight all, or you, you want, if let's say you want to skip either one or the two, then skip two and either two or three, you can use the control. For example, here you can see if let's say after you filter like just now face, then you can click here. You click first row first, then you click click Control A, then you highlight all, or you can use just now this one. Uh, click the first row first, then maybe you want to highlight this all. You can click Shift, then we highlight all, or you can skip if let's say you want to skip this one the second one then you can click control highlight highlight which one you want so if let's say you want to skip like this you can highlight the first row first then you click control then select what you want okay so after that you after you select then you click more you click pop update so here you can click this one, the arrow, then you can see the item which just now already selected here. So you can see you, you selected 10 item already. And then you click again at the update setting here, what you want to update. Lo. You can select, uh, you want update active, 
to be inactive. You want to update the consignment in to be the no consignment. You want to open price or you or don't want, you want, and then you want to set the allow discount or no discount, or you want to update the grouping like brand, group, category. So after you select here, you, if let's say here, you need to select uh, the new group or new brand you want to update. If let's say you want to update brand and the group is the same together, you can check both together. Lah. So you can, so system will update together. But based on this item, lah, okay. So after that, you click update. So system will prompt this screen. Do you want to, uh, are you sure want to update? Then you click yes. And then you click okay. So before update is the grouping is phase. After that, you see after update will be phase new. So this is the update. Okay, so this is the last topic for today, but stop al stop alert level and stop reorder. But this one will take uh, longer a bit like cost this one uh, will be more detailed a bit. Okay, so introduction here actually, the stock alert level and stock reorder are the function for the user to do setting here. La. Usually, if you always to create a new item, actually you can see this box here, but some of the user, they will ignore cause they don't know how to use. So, here will be depends on the user. If let's say after today training, you feel this one uh, quite useful for you, then maybe you can try. Okay, this one benefit is actually is to use to control either the company or individual outlet minimum quantity or maximum purchase quantity or reorder quantity, maximum or minimum selling price for better pricing and stock level control and then also will alert on stock which minimum quantity for salesperson or purchaser to take reorder and then control the monitor purchaser maximum item quantity price purchase to reduce the fraud and over purchase of items so this is the benefit to you this one so here we can separate small two topics for this one stock alert level and stock reorder. So now we go through the stock alert level first. Okay, stock alert level actually you can see here. So we got few setting to set. For stock alert level is a setting when the selling or purchase price over the minimum or maximum value which has been set when doing the related transaction system will prompt the message to alert when the set the transaction. So stock alert level also will alert for the quantity on selling or purchasing when doing the related transaction like sales cycle or purchase cycle. Not even to control for the company level, stock also, alert level also can control by individual location or outlets. That means what you set here, when you set the transaction, like uh, if involve the price like this one, you, if you set this one, if involve the price, you will prompt the alert message to let you know your selling price is 415. But uh, you set at the system here, minimum selling price is five. So we will prompt message to let you know uh, the price is lower than the minimum selling price. Okay, so at the stock maintenance here, you can go through this one location stock alert level to set different location for different selling price. Cost for like just now here, you can see stock alert level. Okay. Actually, what you set here is for the whole company. If let's say you want to set different location for different alert, then you can set from here. 
So you can set different location, got their own like the selling price, minimum selling price, maximum selling price, minimum purchase price or maximum purchase price or so, and quantity sell or purchase. Okay, so how we do the setup? For here, the price sell minimum value is the minimum selling price. So you can use to alert or block when selling price less than the sell minimum value. And then notify or block user when the price is less than the allowed price, which might cost loss or lower than expected margin. So you can set up the minimum selling price here. But after you set, you have to take this one checkbox enable. If you set no take, it will, it will not affect that. And then price sell mass value is the use to alert or block the user when the selling price is more than the this uh, price sell mass value uh, amount to prevent user to oversell the item. So if, you, if let's say you oversell, it will bring the negative image for the company. So your, your client or customer, you see, oh, this, oh, this uh, company always sell the price or uh, always expensive like that. So, and then the government also got the price control policy. Mark. That's why you can set this one to prevent the staff oversell a uh, higher price. And then the price purchase minimum value also to set to prevent uh, the price purchase price is less than the minimum purchase value. Okay, so it will alert the purchase price is dropped then can take necessary action like lower down the selling price and then it will be more competitive to the market. Okay, price purchase maximum value. So this is also prevent the stuff to the purchaser to purchase the item price uh, higher. La. And then uh, if let's say the purchase price is increased, then can take the necessary action also, and then to increase the selling price as well to be more to be uh more competitive as well. Then it will increase the margin. It costs if let's say your item if let's say is a ten ringgit selling price. If let's say here you always set uh firing five ringgit but the purchase price already increased to six ringgit already so you can prevent to know uh, then here you can check or uh, the price is already purchase price is already increased then you can set your selling price uh, higher a bit uh. and then or uh, to stop the purchase and source another for another supplier since the price is more than this maximum value it's quite useful for user can do the comparison with other suppliers to get the cheaper cost price. <laughs> and then quantity on sale, this one to use to alert or block user when the balance quantity is less than the level during selling. Typically, this alert used to indicate uh, whether the stock balance is now negative. Uh, also will prevent the stock balance less than the system balance quantity. Okay, actually this one, you if let's say when you sell the item, you don't want the item uh, always to got a negative balance. So you can set the quantity on sale here, you put zero, then you take the enable here at the checkbox here. So always will sell this item, the balance will always will not less than the zero. That means this the stock always will not uh, got a negative balance. So actually, if let's say last time you got you the smart SQL, actually uh, the smart SQL got the function is the allow negative function at the checkbox for the stock maintenance there. 
So at the dynamo here, actually don't have the function idea, but we got this one new function here. You can set quantity on cell, you put zero, and then take the enable here. Also same as last time, if let's say you got, you, you last time that one allow negative, then you have to take one. Then you no take, then the item is not allowed negative. But here, if just say you have to take off, then system will not have the negative balance. If you want, if you allow the system got the negative balance, then you can uh, untake here. So this one is depends your operation. And then quantity of purchase also. So when the balance quantity more than the level during purchase are to block the, to prevent the user. And then uh, this alert used to indicate whether the stop balance is over, then the system balance quantity also will prevent user keep too much stock as well. Okay, so here as what I just now say, so this one is more flexible to you, actually to let user more use uh, flexibility to use this function. Each individual alert setting can user can take at the chat chat box to be enabled, or if you want to disable it, then you untick at the chat box here. Okay. So for just now, what we set on here, if let's say you want the user totally to block them, because just now what we set actually will show alert only if let's say your the access right no set to block it you will prompt the message to prompt the message but if you let's say you click the confirm you, uh, user still can uh, to save this uh, transaction if let's say you want to totally to block it you can go to the user access right there so you can go to the common module system security and the system user group to set it. Here, you can go to inventory stock there. Here, if let's say totally you want to block the user when the alert message prompt up, don't let them to confirm and save the transaction. Here, allow, here you uncheck, you uncheck all of this. So that means you uncheck, they're not allowed to set the transaction. Even uh, they prompt the message already, then if let's say you got take, then even to prompt the message, you click confirm still can proceed to set. So this is the sample. If let's say just now you uncheck for like, this one is a balance quantity, now it's zero, but uh, this one out of two quantity. That means just now I set this one. If let's say uh, I set the allow quantity on cell alert level, I uncheck this one. So when I when I set the invoice, cost invoice is a selling uh, I, the item selling. So now actually uh, system balance stock is zero. So here actually, uh, I the this one is actually the transaction require two quantity for this item. Then here we'll show quantity at final will be negative. For if let's say just now, uh, no set the access right allowed here. If let's say no set allowed here, when they click the confirm you will direct and proceed. If let's say you got uncheck here, so you prompt this one message, then uh, system will not allow the user to save this transaction. So this is the sample. If let's say uh, for here, you got do the quantity on sell, you got check this enable with zero quantity. Then here, when you sell the balance is zero ma. So uh, here we'll show this one is uh, our balance ID. Then here we'll show 
if let's say you confirm at the end the balance stock will be negative two or if let's say no set the access right for here so here will be show uh the message like this uh. <clears throat> okay for example for i show one more scenario here so here i set price sell minimum value is 90 i enable and then price sell maximum value is 100 i also enable and then quantity on sell i also enable so this one if let's say i sell the item cost just now this one i set minimum is 90 so i try to do the sales with the price is 89 so first they will prompt the message for this sorry the red color this one the red color we will follow the red color okay so here you see the unit price is 89 but the minimum selling price is 90 so system will disallow to process or oh, cost the amount is lower than 90 and then the quantity is one I, for this uh, invoice. So when selling this, when self cost system here will show the balance is zero, then it proceed. It cost here actually is uh, out of quantity already. One. If let's say uh, forced to proceed to save it system at the end will show negative one and then maximum selling price cost just now i said the maximum is 100 if let's say you sell this item is 101 system also will come the message the maximum selling price is 100 but the selling price now is 101 okay stop alert level document will affect uh, at the customer module there here you can see quotation uh, sales order cash sales do delivery return customer invoice debit note or credit note these two what you said will affect on this uh, document on for this one quantity on sale uh, always will affect at the cash sales, DO, customer invoice, and debit note. So far, here is the setting you have to take note. No? If let's say you got set this one, then take note on this uh, transaction screen. And what you set on quantity on sale, have to take note on this transaction screen. No? So here, actually, for this one, price sell minimum value price sell minimum value actually uh also will affect at the poll system there that means if let's say you got set the amount for this one minimum selling price uh poll system also will prompt the message to alert for the user the price is less than the minimum selling price Okay, scenario two is the purchase cycle transaction. We set the sample like this, minimum value and maximum value, and then quantity on purchase. Okay, when set this uh, supplier invoice or supplier transaction, here you can see the unit price is 69, but the purchase minimum price is 70. And then, quantity uh here 100 here also will show uh, the balance is one but in quantity is 100 at the end will be 101 so it will be more than the purchase already that's why here we will prompt the message as well okay and then here also the maximum purchase price is 85 so system is allowed to process when the amount higher than 85 because here we key in 86 
Okay, this is the transaction screen for the purchase side. That's mean what you set for these two will affect on PO, good return, good receipt note, good return notes, supplier invoice, and debit note, credit note. What you set from here for this one quantity on purchase, it will affect this transaction, good receipt note, supplier invoice, and debit note. Okay. Next is the sales cycle transaction with user group control. As what just now what we said for the sales there. If let's say here you block, that means block allow the user to sell uh, over the selling price or less than the minimum selling price or the quantity on sale alert there. So what you set, you will directly block like this. So this is the setting for if let's say you want to control the user not allowed to proceed. Okay, next will be the stock reorder. Stock reorder include setting uh, is the easier to observe the minimum stock quantity level when we view the reorder listing. It's also able to set the maximum stock quantity level then wouldn't cost the stock over purchase. Stock reorder could set the reorder level to assist fill up the top up value based on current stock balance quantity or set reorder default value to top up the stock level based on this value. And then not even to set by company level also can set by individual location or outlet as well. Lah. Okay. So as just now I show, cost here, what you set on the stock reorder, that means here is based on for the company level. If let's say you want to set based on the location level, then you can click more and then location stock alert level here to key in. Actually uh, for this one, we also got an updated for you to key in. If let's say you got a lot item, cause this one is a one by one, one item set one time. So if another item you have to come here to set. So if let's say you want to, here you can go through the inventory module here, set, uh, sorry, transaction. Here you can see the stock alert level updated. Here you can key in all the item with the different level uh, alert or the reorder. <laughs> After you set here, then you update to actual stock level. Cause after you key in all here, even you save, it will not uh, update to here, the stock maintenance. You have to click the more here, update to actual stock level, then only will affect or update to here. Okay, so here will be the stock reorder a bit here. So the balance quantity actually is a stock current balance quantity for the company. So this is a company level balance stock level. And then here is the minimum quantity. So if let's say the stock reorder hit, hit the hit when the balance less than the this level, the balance quantity will fall below reorder minimum quantity. The reorder stock listing will appear the item for reorder purpose. Ah. Okay, maximum balance quantity could be up to this value during the first reorder process at purchase order and then reorder level is a reorder quantity will be filled up to this level during the first reorder process as well and then setting for reorder when perform reorder at purchase order system will calculate and auto fill up the quantity from the current balance pop up until this reorder level reorder default value is uh, for the first reorder process Setting for reorder when perform reorder system will always use this reorder default value for quantity purchase. 
Okay. And then here also got the normal level indicator of balance quantity as the reference. So here what you key in actually as a reference whether it's on the normal level quantity must usually within minimum and normal value. To improve, to improve the user experience for stop alert level and stop reorder dynamic have few modules and report listing would assist user to use it more efficiency. Purchase order here we for the fast reorder. Okay, for here, purchase order. So here you can use this one fast reorder. Stop reorder listing. At the start here, you can click the inventory module report. Stop reorder listing. So this is the stop reorder listing. Stop alert level updated, but update fuse stock item together for the item. No? So no need to set the stock alert level at the item there. Lah. So this is the set. This is the updated which I show you lah, just now. Actually, at the inventory module transaction, here you can see the stock alert updated. So purchase order easier to do the reorder by fast reorder system will do the advice based on the stock reorder level or reorder default value. So this is the purchase order as just now I show you. So here you can see the, uh, if let's say you use the stock reorder level system will advise you reorder level how many. Here we'll show you. Okay, here you can see the balance, and then system will advise you. Cost the reorder level is 110. So here we advise you how many you have to fill up. Okay, system also ready a uh, stock reorder listing as just now I show. So here you can preview the report. Upside here, you can show only the balance quantity less than the minimum level. If that's here, you can got two options, either yes or no. If you click yes, system, after you click yes and click submit, system will show the stock, uh, the item is the less than the minimum level only. So you can see the which one it you you need to do the reorder. Stop alert alert level updated. Actually, it's the user to maintain up for user. So no need to do amendment by individual individual items at stop maintenance. So after done all settings, so have to click this one. No? update to actual stop alert level if you no click this one then system will not update to your actual stop maintenance day okay how it works for the stop reorder so now we try to do the purchase order fast reorder this is the setting i set here now the balance is 25 Minimum quantity is 30. Maximum quantity is 100. Reorder level is 90. Reorder default value is 2. Normal level is 40. So when we do the fast reorder, if let's say we use the reorder level, company balance 25. If let's say you got the SO, balance or PO balance, SO balance have to minus and PO balance have to plus in, then we will show the net balance. So here we can see the reorder level is 90. Here you can see the balance is 25. So 90 uh, minus 25 net balance, 
So system will advise you to reorder 65. If let's say you want to make order by the system advice, you can take at the checkbox here, take order as per advice quantity. Then we'll fill in at the order column here. Okay. Another is just now we use is the stock advice type is by stock reorder level. If let's say you use the by stock reorder default value, that means here just now we set is two. Here reorder default value is the equal to two. Ma. Then the net balance is 25. Minimum quantity I set is the 30. So 25 units balance here plus two for so here you can see at the 31 unit how system advise you actually is the balance 25 here ma. so system will set will will times two times two times two plus uh, sorry plus two plus two until hit the minimum quantity then it will advise you is 31 how come you be 31 now cost uh here we set two ma. so system will time plus two plus two plus two until two here unless you you want if let's say you want confirm is set uh minimum uh if let's say the advice you want to same as the minimum quantity then you can set the default value is one then when plus one until 30 lo. or the company the net balance is 24 when they times two also will hit 30 as well. So how come we got this uh, default value? Cause some of the supplier, if let's say they, uh, they give some the promo, maybe you have to take two got cheaper. So maybe one is a uh, one unit, they give the price is a uh, six ringgit. Then you take two is 10 ringgit. And so when, Every or every, every time you order, you times two. That means you have to minimum take two take for for the item. Then you can set like this. Then system will hit the balance as you want. So this is the stock default. Uh, stock reorder default value lah. Okay. And then another scenario is because just now we set we 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 check on the minimum quantity if let's say we check on maximum quantity is if let's say uh default value we set 80 then the net balance also 25 but maximum is a hundred so system only will advise you based on the setting here but cost the maximum quantity is 100 that's that's why even here the balance is 25 should be default value have should be at until 80 la. should be 25 plus 80 to be 105 but maximum quantity is 100 that's why here advise you 100 so this is the different, if let's say you got set the default value here, you will base you will base on the minimum and maximum quantity to advise for you. So this is today uh training. Thanks for everyone. Okay. So um there's some questions regarding previous one. Uh. So uh, we have one question here. Regarding the 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 bomb there, so there's okay. a person asked uh, if they if we want to assemble ten units and then sell eight units and they want to dis disassembly the balance two and then how how can this be done? After you sell the that means yeah. assembly you yeah. you create yes. ten unit ID yeah then sell eight unit. Mm. After they sold, then they go back. If let's say the balance mm -hmm. two unit they want to unpack, that means yeah. it's assembly, they can go back to the stock assembly there to select the this assembly. 
Okay, we are. That's mean just now from just now we mm. they did the uh, assembly 10 unit already. Mm. So after so eight unit, then if let's say they check the balance still got two unit for the uh item, like for example, hamper got two two more. Then if they want to disassemble that, they come back to this one store assembly screen to select this assembly, then quantity they put to then system will unpack the thing, put back the quantity to individual mm. item. No? Is it um, what they want? Maybe you can try yeah, ask that. I think, yeah, I think this is the solution. And the other one uh, is about the stock alert level la, update. Uh, so uh -huh. we ask that, can it be import by Excel file? Mm, yeah. So <laughs> based on existing system, existing function is known have the import function. Mm, okay. So cannot. Okay, I need to buy one by one. Yeah, have to keep on the. I think before that also got person to request her, but uh, maybe this function not uh, so many people to use. Maybe if let's say in future got many people to use, maybe that we will try to ask or request her. Oh, yeah. Maybe can KRV on the enhancement uh, for future. Mm. Yeah, and also it's about stock balance. How to filter stock? based on supplier ID, supplier who supply the stock with stock balance. Filter the stock balance, don't have a cost. That one, we no capture this function. So actually the stock don't have, uh, check the balance based on the supplier, unless you set the item for, means if let's say you got three supplier supply the same item then maybe if let's say you want to check uh, at these three items the different supplier supply one you only can create the stock by individual item uh, means create mm. three stock code uh. mm. cannot cannot one stock code to define for all supplier which which supplier mm. supplier okay all right is there any more questions regarding today's topic that uh, you all of you would like to know? Is it someone <laughs> feel today's topic is quite new for them? <laughs> Maybe some of the function. Uh. This is why that we have this section to uh, either as a refreshment for all of you, let you know that we actually have more than that, you have the more function there than some of the uh, very powerful and useful function that uh, will benefit for you. Because based on user training, maybe if let's say some is uh, my client, for if let's say some of the case is some of the user here is last time I implement one, cause usually uh, I will teach the basic one now. Basic setting key in the code and barcode the price. Uh. For this side, if unless they got request, then I will only do training. If there no request, cause I don't want to let them to confusing to use mm -hmm. the system first. Cause some of them they're still quite new. Uh. That's mm -hmm. why here this part will be less to teach. Uh. Unless yeah, yeah. they got question to ask here, then uh, I only will teach her. That's why if let's say they today got question about here, maybe they can try to ask her since today open for them to ask question. Yeah, this is uh, more advanced uh, for the stock alert level and stock reorder. Hmm. I think never mind, they can still go back and try with the, the software. They can try to uh, use few stock with this new discover function if they not know it yet. And then when they have more questions, they can come back to us always. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they can contact us 
yeah. maybe if let's say who implement one, you can call back the implementer yeah. or you can call to help us to ask them. Maybe we will try to provide the solution for yeah. them. Can also can write in the email to us. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. So uh, I think that's fine. Uh. It's also almost one and a half hours. Mm. Uh, yeah. So we, we would like to let you all know we will have this type of uh, section every month for one time, one month. We will select some topic that we uh, feel that is more useful and relatable to most of you. Or you also can suggest to us if let's say you have some specific topic that you would like to know more, you also can email to us or let us know then we can arrange for the next section. Yeah, but not next not, not section, uh, maybe Next, yeah. next, next few. Yeah, planning, planning for the future section. Uh, yeah. Huh. So, next training section is what topic? Uh, I saw one. <laughs> but, this, but this is for, I mean, this specific spec section, uh, usually we do it one, one month in one time, uh, one month in one time, right? For our existing user. Uh. So, for it's open for all of our existing user. Uh, if you have colleague new to your new to your organization, then uh, mm -hmm. you also can send them here, send them here to listen to our talks. So, so training section for the next one, please stay tuned. We will update you with the email or with the uh, WhatsApp or with your respective service representative that will inform you all. Okay. So uh, I we guess actually next tra training section is quite uh useful. Uh, maybe have to take note for this uh this time user cause uh as I know it's the trend the section is about the new version for the dynamo. Ah, that's the updates uh, system. Uh, system update. Cause uh next section maybe got few features is quite uh really new one, uh, still fresh one. So have to, if let's say who got interest, then can join back to us on next month. Okay, okay. So we uh, uh, would like to thank you all who attended today's section. And also thanks to our fans to give us this uh, information and uh, would like to end the section today here. And I hope you all have a good weekend and enjoy your lunch later. And okay. if you feel like more questions are forward, you are always welcome to contact us. Mm. Maybe the training section, if let's say they got uh want us to my site to improve, maybe they can also yeah, email. You also give us some <laughs> feedback on our performance. Uh, if let's say maybe not clearance about what I explained, maybe you can feedback to us and we will try to improve. All right, yeah, yeah. So Hope you all learned something today and uh, thanks like thanks all uh, we'll see you again on next section next month thanks everyone thanks thank you thanks. bye 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 bye